어, 안녕하세요. 매일매일 운동하기를 실천하고 있는 동탄 왕코입니다. 어, 그 요즘 왜 이렇게 운동이 하기 싫은지 미쳐버리겠습니다. 아, 어, 오늘도 너무 하기 싫은데, 아. 어. 오늘 막날이었습니다. 내일 쉬어요. 불타는 금요일이죠. 아, 너무 졸립니다. 피곤하고 멍하고 오늘 넷플릭스의 승리호 개봉하는 날이죠 개봉이라고 해야 되나요? 승리호가 뜨는 날이죠 5시에 뜬다고 했는데 이미 떴죠 아 내가 후기, 후기, 후기를 후기 보고 볼지 아니면 그냥 볼지 아 제발 재밌어야 될 텐데 가장, 가장 고민되는 게 심파가 없어서 좋겠습니다 심파 근데 지금 그거는 우주 뭐 우주 우주 전쟁 뭐 그런 내용이지 않나 잘 모르겠지만 뭐 우주에서 막 하는 거라서 심파가 있을 일은 없겠죠, 없겠죠? 네. 얼마나 CG가 자, 자연스럽고 액션이 화려한지가 관건 아니겠습니까 하... 어, 운동해야겠죠? 운동해야겠죠? 아 운동하겠습니다 스트레칭하고 팔굽혀펴기 조금만 할게요 아 진짜 너무 하기 싫어 너무 오늘 잠푹 자고 내일 쉬는 날이니까 내일 열심히 할게요 운동할 땐 CNN이죠 um, uh, But also um, I'm somewhat wary and, um, and hedging their bets In the Trump administration of course uh, in a foreign policy sense uh, there was the enablement Uh, of, of strong oh. men admiration even I mean including Saudi Arabia and oh. uh, its leader Mohammed bin Salman and and you know he called Egypt's Al Sisi my favorite dictator oh. deference to to Russia's Putin and so on what what has been the impact of that and what will or needs to change in your view well Biden was um, very strong today I thought on uh, America's values uh, one of the first things he said in the speech was uh, about the coup in Myanmar He called on the generals there to relinquish power and turn control back to the civilians. Um, he talked about having a summit for democracy, bringing America's democratic allies from around the world uh, together in Washington to talk about the need to work together um, against autocracies. Uh, this has been a key theme of his throughout his uh, campaign. Um, also a key theme in, in my book is, as you mentioned, democracy versus autocracy and great power rivalry. So I do think that this is a central issue in global politics today that Biden Uh, understands that and, and he said all the right things in, in the speech today about working with democracies against these revisionist autocracies like Russia and China. And my thanks to uh, Matthew Kranich there for his analysis speaking with me earlier. Now, Putin critic and Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has been appearing at a libel hearing in Moscow where he has just pled not guilty. He's facing a libel charge for allegedly defaming a World War II veteran. He says the charges, like the others that he's faced, are politically motivated. Navalny was sentenced earlier this week to more than two and a half years in prison for violating his parole while he was being treated in wow. Germany for poisoning. Joining us now from the courthouse in Moscow, CNN senior international correspondent uh, Fred Plykin. Um, yeah, not surprising, he pled not guilty. Tell us what happened, what, how the proceedings go. Yeah, Michael, he pled not guilty, and he really used this uh, opportunity once again to rip into the court and to also uh, say that he believed essentially that this trial, like the last one that he had uh, on Tuesday, is essentially a sham. Uh, Alexei Navalny is inside the courtroom. However, the man who he allegedly defamed, that World War II uh, veteran who is uh, 95 years old, he's actually joining in via video link, and Alexei Navalny has already said that he doesn't believe that the, uh, that the veteran uh, fully really understands the proceedings. He says that there's another person actually speaking for the World War II veteran. Also, Alexei Navalny's attorneys have come forward and they have said that they believe that the uh, that the hearing that's going on today, that the charges are arbitrary, they're vague, and they say that they are illegitimate under Russian law also, and therefore they say illegal. So they've been pretty tough 
uh, in those proceedings so far. It's something that we've seen from Alexei Navalny. We also saw uh, in that trial, of course, where he was on trial on Tuesday, where he ripped not into, not just into the court and not just into those proceedings, but also into Vladimir Putin as well. So it certainly seems as though Alexei Navalny continues to be very combative. If indeed he is uh, convicted and sentenced in this case, he could face a substantial fine on top of, of course, the jail time that he is already facing uh, for that other trial. So certainly the Russian state, you can feel, is maintaining the pressure on uh, Alexei Navalny, despite the fact that we've had these protests going on across Russia over the past couple of weekends, despite also the fact that there's been this international pressure. And of course, Michael, we were talking about the fact that President Biden uh, took his time to speak extensively about the case of Alexei Navalny in his speech there at the State Department yesterday. So far, none of that having any sort of effect on the Kremlin We've asked uh, the Kremlin spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, uh, several times whether or not uh, Russia is reconsidering that position. They say absolutely not. They say anything that the State Department or the U.S. government said will not be considered. They consider this a Russian judicial matter, uh, and a judicial matter alone, not something that the Russian president or his spokesman would comment on or would change anything about, Michael. CNN's Frederick Black and there for us in Moscow. Fred, thank you very much. Now we're going to take a quick break here on CNN Newsroom. When we come back, President Biden hoping for a big turnaround in America's economy during his presidency. But the numbers coming out later today are expected to show that will not be an easy feat. We'll be right back. Ah, 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 ah,